My name is Dom, I'm traveling the world, and obviously I have to eat. So here's a few of the things that I try along the way. Hey everyone, on a special episode today we're going to try something, well, I guess I'm going to try something, that uh, I've been wanting to try for a very long time. Uh, I love to read about food and the different items that people eat around the world. And one thing that struck me as interesting about Australia is that they have this thing called Chico Rolls, um, which I had to buy frozen at the grocery store because, honestly, I don't know where they're sold. I thought they might be sold in convenience stores, kind of like rolls in the U.S. So the history of the Chico Roll uh, is actually right on the box. So it says here, the Chico Roll was born in Bendigo. We've got to go to Bendigo to get me green cube. We're going to go to Bendigo, Morty. Where the local Frank Mc... N. Crow wanted a snack to eat with one hand at the footy. Inspired by the spring roll, he saw potential for more filling and robust snack tailored to Aussie tastes. The result was a true Australian icon that's been enjoyed by millions for over 60 years. Uh, and so this was invented quite a while ago. Um, so here's the box in all its glory. And uh, I'm going to pop one of these in the oven and give it a go. I personally love egg rolls and spring rolls. They were one of my favorite foods growing up, and so I'm kind of excited to see what the Australian take on that might be. So we won't be uh, baking these, we'll actually be pan frying them. There's two options for cooking. There's deep frying, which says it's the crispiest. I don't really have the capacity to deep fry in this Airbnb, and so we'll be doing pan frying. It says preheat five millimeters of oil in a fry pan, and heat to a medium high temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. Uh, cook for 20 minutes, turning every five. So. Let's go do it. Unfortunately, there's not too many a pan here, so we're gonna have to use this giant one. But uh, away we go. Let the five minutes commence. All right, we got some nice golden color here. We're 10 minutes in, we're just gonna be flipping that on this side here. And away we go. And there is our beautiful golden Chico roll. Let's try it out. I don't really have any paper towels, so this uh, <laughs> restaurant napkins left to suffice, but that is our beautiful golden brown. Here is our finished uh, Chico roll. What I like about these is it comes with these little paper wrappers that come in this pack right here. I think to uh, pretend that you are getting it from a footy match, as the box said. And uh, let's try our bite. It's not bad. It's very similar to a traditional egg roll. The wrapper is a bit thicker. I couldn't exactly tell you what's inside. It seems like a mix of vegetables that are kind of mushed together. There's what looks like pieces of barley inside, which is one of the stranger things I've seen in an egg roll. The barley is probably a cheap filler. Overall, not bad. The filling has kind of a mush that reminds me, with the thickness of the wrapper, it reminds me a bit of um, samosas. I don't know if you can see there, but it's kind of like one solid chunk of whatever mashed together. Um, overall, not bad. I'm a huge fan of egg rolls. I would say this is probably better deep fried as opposed to pan fried. Um, is it the best egg roll I've ever had? No, I still prefer traditional egg rolls, so I'd say I'd probably give this a 6 out of 10. Some bites are just weird barley mash, and other bites have pretty substantial chunks of vegetable, so depends on the bite. The barley though is just the weirdest thing. I was able to extract a piece on my thumb right there. Yeah, it's just barley, nothing special. So I took the box out of the freezer to see exactly what's inside because even after finishing it, I can't tell you. It seemed like a mix of cabbage and carrot and onion, kind of like you see in other types of egg rolls, um, with barley. So let's read the box here. So ingredients, 31% uh, vegetables, so cabbage, carrot, celery, onion, green beans, okay. Wheat flour, water, cooked barley. I knew it. I knew there was barley in there. And then beef, 4%. Could not find any beef. 
Well, there you have it. I think I've probably been waiting about 10 years to try Chico Rolls um, since I first read about them. I wasn't blown away by the experience, but it is a uh, novelty and I would probably eat it again. So thank you, Australia. I was thinking it's really funny that the paper says, uh, roll home with a Chico. If you speak Spanish, it's kind of a funny expression. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.